So I have a lot of videos to plan out just for the next like couple of weeks. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I want to get done and I just need to put it out there, you know, just like put it on paper so it's not in my brain, it's not in my head and I'm not worrying constantly that I'm going to forget something. Also, I now realize that I'm wearing the same sweater I was wearing in my last vlog. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but I do really love this sweater. I just, I feel so cozy and comfy in it. I really like the sort of sweater season. So I'm enjoying this. I thought I would bring you along for me uh, sort of journaling out and planning out a couple of my videos and stuff. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> I have three journals here. I also have a fourth one, but I couldn't find it. I spent like a while trying to look for it and I cannot remember where I put it. I wanted to show you that one as well, but yes, that's not happening today. So a lot of you guys ask me whether or not I bullet journal, um, just because I guess I give off that sort of vibe that I would do that, uh, but I did. I used to do it. Um, this is my bullet journal for 2018. I think I did this from like May to like November-ish of 2018. Um, I also have previous ones, which I'm not showing you because they're embarrassing. And then I have this one, which isn't really a bullet journal necessarily, but we'll get into that. I have another one that I wanted to show you, which was more like a creative journal where I planned out all of my creative projects. Because before I created this a Martian Knots channel, I also wanted I knew I wanted to create a YouTube channel for a while, but I thought I would create two separate ones, one for sort of this type of thing that I'm doing now, and one for just random other ideas that I had. Um, I had ideas for just videos that I could make. Um, but that never ended up happening because this one sort of grew to an amount that I never expected it to grow, so I'm sort of like focusing all of my energy here, and I just do not have the capacity to do another one now. Um, and then we also have this journal, which which I got not that long ago, uh, and actually I was in the I was in the store and there were two of these and I posted on my Instagram story which one I should buy and you guys voted for this one so I got it because uh, I couldn't decide. And this was the one that I use now mostly just to like plan stuff out. But apart from the journals I also have this calendar which is the year 2019 um, calendar by Kurzgesagt. They are a YouTube channel um, who do amazing videos, and they're very educational and fun. And I've been following them for a while, and I get these calendars every year. I got the 17 one, the 18 one, and now the 19 one, and I'm gonna get the 20 one. Um, and I use this just to sort of plan out some stuff in advance. I used to like really, really get into it and put all my to-dos in here as well, but now I've sort of migrated to here, and now I only use this to just like plan out more major stuff, but I thought I would show you more in detail what I do and maybe journal a little bit with you as well. I will be updating on the books later on in the video. I'm kind of sad that uh, the pumpkins are only going to be in like one video, which is the wrap up, because I really like them. I think they're really cute. I wanted to like take pictures on, on them, but that never happened, so that's sad. And I love that candle. Very cute. So this is the one that I did for 2018. I do a bit of lettering as well. I'm not amazing, but I can do some lettering. And um, if anyone's curious, this is the brand. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but whatever. So I did sort of spreads like this for the beginning where I put all the months out and then I highlighted certain dates. And then I also did monthly spreads, which I don't necessarily want to show you because there's some personal information here, kind of everywhere. And then I also did weekly spreads where I would put the week number and highlight the week. And then each day I would write sort of like to-do lists and I would write a short sort of extract of what the day was like. I also sometimes did cute little letterings. Like here, you can see that this day, I was flying from London to Moscow and as I said I did write out like little stuff about what the day was like so here I wrote slept through the entire flight was very worried prior to it uh, and was reunited with Stefan who is my husband who I was long distance with at the time feeling great so you can see that I did different colors for each month so June was this color but I also did it in like the same style and then I did little letterings like this as well for stuff that was happening. And sometimes I did like spreads like these where I would just do a lettering for the entire page if I had an empty page. And then July was purple. This was the month that I went to Italy with my parents. So I did a little thing for Italy. And then the, all of these were just like what I did there. And then August. Like this was orange. I guess I was kind of stressed in August, so I did this spread. 
Oh, I did this because this was the month that I went back to London and I was so annoyed that the end didn't fit. I was like really annoyed with myself. Uh, uh, four habits that I wanted to keep. So the sleeping one was having a nice consistent sleep, which as you can see, I didn't really have. And here as well. I actually stand by this a lot, begin anywhere. I feel like if you just want to do something, don't wait till like Monday or the next year or something. Just start. Even with bullet journals and stuff, just like if you want to start a bullet journal, just do it. And then in November, it sort of just died out. I don't know why, but I never picked this one back up again. This one, however, was the one that I sort of attempted to do for 2019. And this one I was planning on doing as like, sort of more like a memory book than a bullet journal because I realized that um, I'm not really consistent when it comes to actually writing down tasks and stuff. Um, so I decided this would be just more like a memory book. And here you can see that I did a quote page at the beginning of the new year is a good time for reflection of the year past. So I did this entire sort of first half um, of just a reflection of 2018. So here are some things that I enjoyed in 2018 and it was London and I printed out some pictures. Here's Deptford, St. Paul's Cathedral, this is Hampstead. I went on a boat party with my friends and there's Canary Wharf in the distance. A gherkin, oh here's Canary Wharf as well. Here's the River Thames, nice views. This is pretty awesome. And then we have a nature spread where you can see the first snow. Just some nice pics of nature, like Hyde Park and Hampstead again. I really like Hampstead, Hampstead's a great neighborhood. Um, and then this is also when I went to Italy and you can see nice pictures here and Moscow and here are just some pics of stuff I did with my friends we went to the arcade to like different picnics and stuff and yeah, I had a good time and this is a spread of how I changed my life so in 2018 I moved you can see my friend's car there who helped me move this is me my dad and my sister in Ikea this is my dad and my sister helping me set up my furniture which is actually this table um, that's them putting it together. And that was the first flat that I had with my flatmate. So we now live in a different flat, me, my flatmate, and my husband. This was the first flat and that's the table that I'm at now in a different flat. That was like my setup in that flat. I had a whole wall of pictures, the Kutzkazak calendar, and then my table and I would work there. And this is also where I revived my channel because, uh, you know, I did martial arts channel back in like 2015. This is where I revived my channel back in that flat. And this was like the first video Ish that I filmed, I think. And this is me when I got my new job, which I'm still working at. And then I did a spread because I also changed my life in, you know, <laughs> other ways. I got married and I'm covering my husband's face because he doesn't want to show his face, but that's me in my wedding dress. I had a pretty big wedding dress, it was quite poofy. It's our anniversary soon, as you can see, 21st of December. I really like these pics, I think they're very aesthetic. We had like a sort of lavender wedding where like I had a lavender bouquet and everything was like lavender. And here are rings. And this is him kissing me. And then I also have this spread of the winter wonderland that I was in the last year. This is um, just outside of Moscow. But yeah, then I never continued it. I think I'm gonna do more. Like I wanna buy the um, HP Sprocket maybe that can print pictures. And so I can do that because I don't actually have a printer, which is why this is empty. I printed all of those in Moscow. <laughs> And then looking at this one, which is my actual most recent one that I use, I decided I want to do stickers now, so I got a bunch of stickers and I'm now using that. So I've got a bunch of different videos that I want to make. There's ticks on ones that I've actually done, so the buying from Etsy video and the, also the alpha patterns are like really on my to-do list. The using charms uh, that BB Craft sent me is also really high up on my to-do list. Oh, this is stuff that I want to get. My new computer I just bought, which I'm really happy about. You can actually see here on my giant screen. That's the comments that you guys posted on the video that I just posted. So I read the comments. <laughs> yeah, I also want to get an HP Sprocket and a thing to convert streams so I can stream from my camera. Uh, these are like packages and stuff that I need to send. These are packages and stuff that I need to send in the near future. Most of which I've already sent thankfully. Here are some things that I can't necessarily uh, share but I've just, I've just have some ideas here. Here's some videos and stuff that I want to make, some of which I've already made. Also I'm thinking of creating like a Facebook group and a VK group but nah, I, don't, I don't think I'm, I might not do that. There are also some videos and like to-do lists and stuff. This is me planning out my one year 50k celebration video. Some more to-do lists and stuff. This, these are all the people that submitted captions. I just wanted to keep track of that. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And this is me planning out my vlogs because I want to do vlogs on like different topics, topics and stuff, but I don't want to show that yet. So I thought I would journal a little bit now.
So here in my uh, Kurzgesagt calendar, if I want to put a video on a specific date, the 30th, which is today, I posted my wrap up. So I'm going to write that down. Although I usually tend to sort of put them for the future. So let's scroll over to the month of November, which the pictures for this are absolutely gorgeous, but I don't have time to show this right now. So for the month of November, I posted something on the Wednesday. I now post on Saturdays. So what do I want to post this Saturday? Now on the 9th, I want to post the video with Alex. So I'm going to put that here. But what do I want to post before that? What is my top priority right now? The Etsy video is my top priority. Will I be able to get that done for this Saturday? So this vlog is hopefully gonna go up on the Friday or is it gonna go up on the Saturday? I should post a tutorial because I've only been posting sort of fun videos. Post a tutorial for Friday. I just have like a lot of videos to do so I need to post bonus videos because I, if I post two, two times a week I won't be able to put out all the videos that I need to put out soon. So I'm gonna put the vlog on the Saturday and then <clears throat> a tutorial for the Friday and I want to do some beginner base tutorials so I'm gonna probably do the braided stitch tutorial now for the Wednesday after after the vlog I should post another tutorial on the Wednesday so the tutorials are blue what tutorial oh I should do the charms that has been put off for a while so then the Alex's innovations one is gonna come up then I should post the... But then my sister is coming on that day. My sister is coming on that day. Have a deadline on this day. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna pencil it in. I'm gonna put the Etsy one for the 8th. This is one of the reasons why I stopped doing mail videos. I still have a bunch of mail that I want to film a video for, but like I have no time to schedule it in for. I don't know where I can't do mail videos anymore because I just I don't have the time, which is sad because I like them. If I'm gonna do the Etsy opening, I might as well open all the mail on that day when I'm filming the Etsy opening and then just post the mail video on like the next Monday. I'm gonna pencil that in for here. What else do I need to do? How to read Alpha Patton's collaboration with Bracelet Book. Will I be able to get it done for then? Definitely not because deadline and my sister, so that's not happening. But I do need a tutorial because, well because. Will I be able to do the bracelet life hack video because that is kind of a tutorial. That is the question. I think I should be able to do that here. I mean, this is a very rough sketch. If not, I'm just not gonna do it. But that is something that I wanna pencil in for them. And then since my sister is gonna be here, I'm probably gonna film a video with her. And then for the Saturday, I can put the video with my sister. And then maybe if I have time, I'll throw in another vlog in there somewhere. Are there any other videos that I need to get done like ASAP? Did I put Alex? Yes. Oh no, this is November. I don't need to do the Christmas ones yet. And then maybe for the 20th, I'll pencil in how to read Alphas. Okay, that looks like a good plan. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna be able to do this though because they said deadline and sister. And then probably another deadline somewhere here, I don't remember. And then also I want to start prepping for Christmas because for Christmas I wanna do a bunch of cool stuff. jotted down like some of the most upcoming tasks. Uh, I need to get the parcel from the sorting center because it didn't get delivered. Um, I need to film the braided stitch tutorial because that's what I'm posting. Uh, I need to send Alex screen recordings because I haven't done that yet. I'm actually going to do that just now. Take pictures of my bracelets because I haven't posted to Instagram in like a week, <laughs> which is not good. Um, send Jane a card plus bracelet, which reminds me, I actually completely forgot. I mean, I haven't forgotten. I remember that, but I forgot to write it down. I need to also do Zoe's bracelet. And 
not only that, but I need to sort out all my new Patreon packs because this month is coming up. There you go, so I need to do that. Um, Film the mail opening because I need to do that. It's been too long. Respond to my DMs. I'm sitting on quite a few DM messages right now and I should respond to them. I always really try. It's just, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> plan my video with my sister, plan the bracelet hacks video because that will take some planning. Plan the alpha tutorial which will take a lot of planning. And then these as well. And also I wanna try making captions for my videos. I really genuinely try to post my videos with captions already on them for both English and Russian actually. But it is a challenge, it it really is. Uh, it takes a lot of time to do captions, even in English, not even in Russian. Um, so yeah, that, that takes a while. And if you're wondering what these stickers are, these are by Paper Poetry. And, and I just, I got them at a local store. I don't actually know where you can get them. Um, but yeah, I got this pack and this pack. I think that's it for planning. I mean, I, I have a pretty clear idea of what I need to do now. Uh, the reason I do this planning is because if I don't do this, then I stay up during the night and I can't fall asleep because my brain is racing thinking about all the stuff that I need to do. So I need to like, so I like to put this down on paper so I'm not afraid of forgetting anything. So this really helps me keep my mental health together. <laughs> I don't really have anything to update you on in terms of bracelets because I literally just posted my wrap up video for the month of October and all of that information is still pretty accurate. Uh, all the bracelets are still here. I haven't even put them away yet. So there, this is probably my favorite bracelet. This is probably my favorite bracelet of the month. I had a great time making this. But yeah, as I said, all of these are in my wrap up video and also there's currently a vote, I think. Yeah, the vlog is gonna be posted in like a couple of days. So the vote is still active. If you wanna vote for the challenge of the month for November, if you're watching this video as it's coming out, then check out that video and vote there. So I thought I'd just like jump straight into the books that I was reading. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should first of all, but uh, here is the trackers that I did for the month. So for the first half of the month, uh, I wasn't reading as much as I wanted to. Uh, and then for the second half of the month, I had like a week uh, where I really pushed it out. One of which, I, I, I mean, I'm not looking at it now. I think it was like 250 something uh, for one of the days. So like that was really a, a good week for me. Uh, but I, I just, I can't read as consistently as, as I'd like to. And I can't read as much as I like to, but still reading more than I was the past couple of months. So I finished uh, China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Kwan and I had a great time with it. But I feel like I've talked about this book enough that you really know my thoughts about it. I think it was funny. I loved the drama. I liked it. And I also, in that time being, read this book, which is Someday by David Levithan. Um, I read this book in like two days. <laughs> this is a continuation of these two, which every day you might have heard me talk about already because I'm a big fan. I really like this book. Um, probably like my favorite book, definitely top five. The main premise of the story is that there we have this character, the main character, who changes bodies every single day. They don't have a body of their own and every single day they wake up in a body of someone else, essentially possessing them for one day and then the next day they switch and they're in someone else's body. And they fall in love, inhabit a body of this boy named Justin who has a girlfriend named Rhiannon and this person who calls himself A falls in love with Rhiannon while they're in Justin's body. And that sort of kicks off the entire story. So basically this is a love story, but there is so much more to it than that. Um, it really goes in depth in sort of philosophical questions and issues of like morality and why we are the way we are, the meaning of life and stuff like that. It goes into like some really deep topics, which is why I love the book. That, not the love story, even though I can appreciate a good love story, but the sort of philosophical aspect of it is why I really enjoy this book. Then we have Another Day, which I also read, which is the same exact story as Every Day, but from the perspective of Rhiannon, which is the girl. And then we have this book, which is Someday, which is literally a continuation of the story. We pick up right where we left off uh, the previous two books, and the story expands on a completely different plot line, which I didn't even talk about, and I'm probably not going to because it's kind of a big spoiler. <laughs> Explores the sort of philosophical aspects and everything just the same way that the other two did, um, while at the same time giving us a really interesting plot. So I really enjoyed this. I had a great time with it. I thought that it was, I was really worried about it. The reason I didn't pick it up sooner was because I was worried that it would ruin the first two books for me. I thought it was gonna be bad and it would ruin it but I liked it. And now I'm reading this book, which is The Sun is also a star. And when I posted about this on my Instagram stories, like so many of you messaged me saying that this was like your favorite book 
and you're really happy that I'm reading it. So I was blown away by the amount of people who actually reached out. That was amazing. Uh, so I'm kind of like really hyped up for this book now. But also I'm trying not to like put my expectations too high because that would be unfair to the book. But I feel like I've just been uh, very lucky. I think this is like the third book in a row because Crazy Rich Asians, that one, and then this one. Um, I'm reading from like the perspective of multiple characters. Like every chapter is a perspective of a different character and that has been the same thing in that one and also in Crazy Rich Asians. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this one so far. I'm on page 57, so I'm not like that far into it, but I'm hooked. I'm interested. Want to continue reading, so that's good. But yeah, I think that's enough for today. Uh, I didn't really have that much to update you on in terms of bracelets, but I do have a lot of stuff that I needed to plan out, so I thought I'd just like bring you along. How do you like see what goes on behind the scenes of like being a YouTuber? Um, there's like a lot more to it. I feel like a lot of people just think that you sit down and you film videos, you edit them and you post them. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, you really have to think ahead in terms of what you post and how you post it. Because people, also when people request videos, they sometimes it seems that people really don't understand how long it takes to produce a video. Like the keychain video that I posted three weeks ago. I wanted to make that keychain video for probably like a solid six months before I actually made it. Because there's just other stuff that keeps coming up first that takes priority. Like my wrap up videos, they have to be posted once a month. So that takes one slot. Then these vlogs, I love doing them, don't get me wrong, but they also take up a slot because they are sort of recursive as well. So they take up another slot. So if I only post two videos a week, which is the amount that I can keep up with realistically. Sometimes I can't even keep up with that. And then you you, you, you take away the wrap-ups, you take away uh, the vlogs, you take away like mail openings, which I stopped doing now because of this reason. But still, like all of that kind of stuff. You don't have that many slots left. And I try to post one of them to be a tutorial, one of them to be like a fun video. Um, so tutorials, it's very hard to balance is what I'm saying. It's very hard to balance. So when people request videos, I don't think they really realize how long it really takes to produce a video. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, as I, I changed my posting schedule, so now I post Wednesdays and Saturdays, so you have more time to watch my videos over the weekend. Um, and yeah, you saw my posting schedule. Hopefully I'll keep up to that. Probably not, realistically. But you saw that, so you know kind of what to expect. And I'll see you next time. Bye.